Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Sagittarius their weekly love read. Sagittarius, this is for the week of February 21st through the 27th. We're getting cards on what is coming towards you in love, what is the blockage in the situation, and what uh, is going to be the outcome in the situation. We're also going to get some message cards for you. This is a general read, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel as if this is not your read, feel free to check out your moon and your rising signs. If you don't know what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a, a link in the description box that will take you to a website to give you that information. There's also a link in the description box to take you to my personal website if you're looking for a personal read. Um, hmm. Sorry, the cards are distracting me. Um, so if you're interested in a personal, personal read, check that out. Uh, thank you guys for watching uh, my channel. Please like, share, um, subscribe, and comment if you feel inclined to do so or if you enjoyed this video. So uh, let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. So we have an Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck for the energy. So this connection is a true love connection. A true love um, could be like a new restart or a new start in love could be a new person. Um, or uh, restart with an old person, um, but definitely one full of love, full of lots of love. Definite true love situation. Um, what I see coming towards you, I see the four of swords, uh, uh, the four of wands, and the nine of pentacles. So definitely a twin flame energy coming towards you, uh, a very stable, committed, passionate connection. Uh, with the, with the um, four of wands, it's the 11-11 card in tarot. I feel like um, I feel like this is um, someone who has recently had to really rest their heart. Might have been going through some sadness and heartache. Um, usually, the Three of Swords is followed by the Four of Swords. So the heartbreak, the the card in the tarot where the Three Swords are stuck into the heart. Um, come, this comes after that. It's like healing your heart. So I feel like the person coming towards you has been healing their heart. They might have endured some sadness. Um, and they have really been focused on kind of building themselves up, building up their finances. They might be focused more on work than love previously because they've been hurt. Um, but they are coming in as a committed, responsible, um, loyal kind of energy. Um, they could be a fire sign. They could be a earth sign. They could be a air sign. It could be any sign really. But um, I definitely feel like this is a twin flame connection. Interestingly, the blockage is the Page of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. So, um, so I feel like the Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles is kind of easy to understand as a blockage. The Page of Cups is an apology. So, you know, maybe you or someone else is not willing to give an apology or is waiting on an apology to happen. And the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow-moving energy. So, I honestly feel like... Um, with the six of wands being in here, that's like victorious in love, um, successful. I feel like the, the blockage is um, a love situation not being okay at the moment because someone's refusing to apologize. Someone's moving at a very slow pace to kind of make the apology that they need to. The page of cups can be a love offer too. But um, I feel like it, it's also an apology. So I feel like for this situation, it is um, is a blockage. It's an apology. Sorry, guys, I need a drink. I think someone's refusing to apologize and moving at a very slow, slow pace. <laughs> That's what I think. Um, for the outcome, though, I mean, two of cups, soulmate connection, true love, marriage, union, true love this is a true love situation i feel like it's a twin flame connection um lots of passion lots of fire very sexy flirty energy um and the outcome is the high the high priestess the high priestess can sometimes be a card about um just not really speaking but i feel like in the outcome this is more about this is a divinely guided connection that you're uh it's very spiritually connected a very in tune like you're in you're tapped into your intuition um, this is very much a soul connection for you. Soul connection, true love, union, marriage, passionate connection. Like really, um, very much so. I mean, we got twin flame, soulmate, ace of cups. 
we have all these great positive vibes, but definitely some conflict in the middle with that refusal to give an apology. All right, we're going to get the Sacred Healing Journey card from Angelic Revelation 144. I've been getting about four of these per read, so we'll see what pops out for you. Said Sherry's fire, burning shit down. Well, maybe that's why somebody has to apologize. <laughs> Hiding, ashamed, can't face you, gamble of the heart, should you go for it. War, defensive self-sabotage, anger, patience, there's no movement at this time. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like definitely in this situation, Sagittarius, there's some conflict. There is some fire burning shit down. So like somebody is definitely um, kind of messing things up a little bit. Um, and now they're kind of feeling like they need to hide. They're ashamed. They can't face what they've done. They can't face this chaos they're creating. They're, uh, it's almost like they're being defensive. They're angry. They're self-sabotaging. It says war at the top. Um, gamble of the heart, should you go for it? I feel like, uh, I mean, the gamble of the heart is to not go for it as far as I'm concerned. Like, I think whoever's doing all this craziness needs to apologize. So... All right, we're going to get some messages of love oracle cards from All Things Intuitive. Regret. Someone feels for remorse, remorse for the way they treated you. Or you feel remorse for the way you're treating someone. Yes, 100%. And I, I think it was Virgos that I said this in about the twin flame connection. In the twin flame connection, there's a chaser and there's a runner. So um, if, you, if you're not familiar with that, but in Twin Flame Connections, there's often a lot of hardships, right, throughout this connection and lots of lessons being learned and um, heartbreak and needs for apologies. So this feels like a Twin Flame Connection. Um, obsession. Someone is in this connection is gripped, with is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Yeah. That would be that war, that self-sabotaging, right? Those obsessive thoughts. And then healing, old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So someone needs to do some healing. All right, we're going to get a couple of the Hermit Tarot channeled love messages. You are so very special, 21. You have so many choices and options. Sex. Sex. And seek professional advice. <coughs> Sorry, I have a tickle in my throat. Well, you can infer what you'd like from those guys. All right, we're going to get a couple of um, love vibes from King of Aloha. I don't feel anything special about this connection. I trust you. Can you please trust me? My self-esteem is not the best right now. Yeah, I feel like your person or you um, might not feeling be feeling great, right? That's why they're self-sabotaging. That's why they're being defensive. That's why they're being angry. Um, they're lying to themselves, saying they don't feel anything special about this connection. But then they say, like, I trust you. Can you trust me, please? Um, I feel like they're kind of all over the place. That's either you or them, guys. I don't know. You tell me. All right, we're going to get a couple of Alice Romance Oracles. Alice's Romance Oracles. I have a hard time communicating. <laughs> Your kindness has changed my life, and please don't go. Well, whoever is having a hard time communicating, you need to get your ducks in a row because um, I hope you're not pushing away this amazing connection. All right, we're going to get an angel, god, and goddess card for you. These are advice cards. What does Sagittarius need to hear? Angel of addiction healing. It is time. It is a time of positive transformation and healing. So let me pull, uh, let me find this uh, message for you in here. All right. You are protected and loved by God and the many angels that surround you right now. God and the angels are here to help support and heal you. They would like you to know that all can be healed through the light of love. 
as all you need is to surrender any addiction which you wish to release and no longer serve you to God and to the angels. Invite them into your life and have faith in their ability to help you through this healing process as gently and lovingly as possible. Trust, this is a time of positive transformation and wondrous healing. This is a suggested prayer that it has in here. I guess I'll read it. It's the only one that I've seen so far with a prayer, but um, help me overcome my addiction in the most gentle and loving way possible. Oh, dear God, angels and ascendant masters, help me to overcome my addictions in the most gentle and loving way possible. Give me the strength, resolve, and courage to stick with my decision to quit. May your loving and healing light balance and heal me physically, emotionally, and mentally. Help me to feel the love and light which exists in the center of my being. Help me reconnect with my inner child who lovingly holds the purest essence of who I truly am. Thank you, dear God, angels, and ascendant masters. And to me, with when we talk about addiction and tarot, it's often like the devil, right? Um, I, I don't even feel like um, it has to be necessarily a, like a substance addiction. It could be uh, assess, obsessive thinking, uh, anxieties, um, uh, just like just behaviors that don't serve you. So any kind of behavior that doesn't serve you, you can try to release in that fashion as well. So, um, all right, guys, Sagittarius, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate all your support, guys. Until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.